over 30 students stand up for vetting to secure slots to contest as guild members of parliament. Speaking shortly after the vetting, Muchiri Eric was given a green light to contest as a member of parliament, representing law school, say the process was his first achievement. You know, vetting is a milestone and this is my first goal to achieve. And I believe after, uh, and I believe immediately I'm going to start working on my campaigns and I believe that I have the best manifesto so far. Coming through to represent people living with disabilities, Sister Elizabeth Tusingwile from School of Education revealed her plans to be the voice of people with disabilities. I'm here contesting be the MP of people with disabilities and why I chose to be the MP of people with disabilities is to be a voice to them because we see now they don't have chances, we don't know them but once I become this is where I will bring up their potentials where they will have the same seminars and this will find that it will motivate them because it will change their attitude because they have self they have low self esteem. But close to fifteen constituents fell vacant last week following the dissolution of the twenty eighth Guild Parliament. According to Pure Tech John, the vetting process was transparent. Indeed, you see, vetting is just like a farmer picking up the tools to go to the garden. The goal is not to pick up the tools but to go and dig in the garden. Vetting is simply a step to actually hush you into the real job. Now the real job awaits for me, representing the students of the School of Education in Kumba University and doing what they need. The process honestly was very transparent and most importantly, I believe it is the most effective process I have ever witnessed in as far as vetting is concerned. Nkumba University students will be heading to the polls on 16th of September to vote for their new leaders. Today we have been witnessing a process called vetting. I believe the vetting process is a very important one and I would like to credit the Electoral Commission for the commendable work. Through this process we are going to be able to vote our own credible leaders because they have been screened, they have been tested with different questions and I believe the best candidates should win for myself. Namwanje Patricia, Kumba University News.